Okay, and here we are. We've got Tony Bacoli from Imminent Sonic Destruction. James Sowen from Eden Song. Hi, guys. Greetings. Hello. Hello from the Progressive Music Planet. So, you guys are, uh, you guys got a tour coming up. Um, and first question is obvious whose idea was it? Who called so, I mean, Whose idea was it? Who called who? I don't even remember. <laughs> I think this was, uh, I mean, you and I were both looking to put on a tour uh, at the same time, and it just kind of, it made sense to try to do it together. Yeah, well, we always wanted to play uh, with Imminent Sonic Destruction. We were uh, trying to set up a show, but, you know, better than a show mm -hmm. would be a full tour, so, um, yeah, um, yeah, so we had some touring plans that sort of fell through, so, um, you know, we wanted to get at least, um, you know, something going for this, uh, for this year. And, um, you know, we love these guys. Um, so, uh, I thought it would be awesome to put on something together. And how long have you guys known each other? Uh, well, we met, uh, in, uh, 2014 on the, uh, Mike Portnoy Progressive Nation cruise. Oh, okay. Uh, we, yeah, we were both, uh aboard it and um our mutual friend uh john kagi kotsian of uh, yetsujam.com mm -hmm. uh you know he's a good friend of mine i've known him for years and he's known the guys in eden song he said hey you guys should all hang out mm -hmm. that's uh, exactly what we did and really since then uh we both took our sweet time writing our follow-up albums and then uh well, well uh, i guess as it is uh now we're going on tour together so well yeah i mean that was uh, the thing you you took you didn't take quite as long as James took, because that's been, what, eight years-ish? Yeah, something crazy. I mean, we technically put out a an EP in yeah. 2010, but uh, really it was a solid five years that we were actually, like, recording, mixing, mastering, you know, whatever, uh, this, um, this new album, Years in the Garden of Years. Um, yeah, five years, June, I think it was June 2011, to like we finally wrapped up June 2016. So you make so, you make you Tony. make you make Tony seem like he's he's quick. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, like Tony you are quick. <laughs> I have admiration for that. Well, now, hopefully this next one won't take us as long, but yeah, agreed. it did take too long. Agreed. Well, you know, you were you you were looking for the right deal and that makes sense. Now as far as the bands go, I like obviously I really like both bands, but you guys are very different style wise i mean that was the first thing that struck me was i mean i realized eden song can can kind of heavy it up a little bit but certainly not uh progressive super metal uh caliber <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're coming from different places but i feel like we have a we share a lot of the same influences mm -hmm. and um you know we love a lot of the same music and i feel like uh progressive music fans and fans of metal are very open-minded in general and can deal with these shifting genres and, and subgenres and without it being too much, um, you know, uh, for them. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it'll work out. It's going to, I think we're going to have to certainly focus on the heavier, uh, songs in our set, uh, which is generally what we prefer playing live anyway, because we often play in clubs and that's the stuff that I feel like translates better mm -hmm. in that type of setting. So. Right. I think we do that naturally and, and the way i look at it you know whereas yes we do both sound you know pretty much night and day uh, against each other but it gives us a chance to maybe not play the heaviest stuff in, in our uh, repertoire and, and and try some of the stuff that we might not normally do on a regular tour you know to try to flex our uh, prog muscles and, and i think to add to what james was saying you know it, Prague is Prague, and really, this is a mini celebration of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how I look at it. Anyway. Yep. Yeah, and some of the bands we're playing with, I mean, real like uh, some of the yeah the other bands are, are really varied. Um, you yeah. know, uh, we're going from like like tons of like pretty heavy uh, metal uh, metal acts, um, probably heavier than you guys, to uh, yeah. you know bands like you know half. Past four, which are just just something completely different. 
So it should be really cool. And, uh, you know, all the bands um, that I've heard are fantastic. So really excited about, um, yeah, all the bands on these bills. Well, it's interesting because it, to me then it, it's, it seems much more like that progressive nation even throughout the years, there was always a, a an interesting mix of of different types of bands. You know, including the the new and up and comers. Um, there was always a, a, a cool mix of different things because ideally, we are prog fans, so we should be open minded. And I say should. Not everybody is, but I think most people are. Correct. Not everybody is. Yeah. Um, now, no, totally, yeah, and uh, that was what was awesome about that uh, Progressive Nation at Sea um, experience, is just like, went from, you know, Adrian Ballou to like, Periphery, Deer yeah. Hunter, I mean, it's sort of uh, an all hand picked by Portnoy, who has pretty eclectic taste, it seems, um, so, it was it was cool. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as you had mentioned before, common influences, what 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 do you guys agree on? Let's start there. Well, I mean, I, I certainly grew up listening to a lot of metal, so, um, you know, I, I feel like a lot of that um, that is going to be shared, but also Tony is a fan of 70s Prague, which, uh, you know, is, is sort of my wheelhouse also. Um, yeah, maybe you can elaborate, Tony, and I'll chime yeah, in. Yeah, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, yes, but, uh, you know, obviously... Um, bands like Genesis and, and uh, early King Crimson, and, you know it, it, that that stuff. Uh, when I was growing up, is kind of what really shaped uh, my own writing influence. It kind of made it okay to go ahead and write a song that's ten minutes long, and <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. So I think that's something that we we obviously have in common is, is yeah. that kind of old school prog rock. Well, and also, I mean, um, what. One of the things I love about ISD is all of like the the guitar harmonies that really like remind me of my favorite, um, you know, like Metallica at its best in terms of the harmonizations. Um, that stuff's really cool. So you must be uh, you must be a Metallica fan and classic metal fan, right? Uh, well, I mean, there was a point in my life where I considered Metallica to be one of my favorite bands. So yeah, yes. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, so that I think was... the same could be said for most. Mm-hmm. You know, right, guys our age yeah. playing guitar. Metallica seems to be the thing that cuts across generations. Anyhow, I mean, the, yeah, still like you know, kids learning how to play guitar. Is that's Metallica is where they start. So, so now, what what do you think makes what are, what are the what are the things where you would say you guys are a little bit different as as far as influences go? I mean, are there is there anything you don't necessarily share? I don't know. We've never had this conversation, Tony. So tell me. Let, Tell me a controversial what, album. Yeah, what do you what do you, hate, what do you hate what do you hate about each other's oh, music, really? Let's get I, right I, to I it. I know. Oh, we could we could go that way. How about yeah. the astonishing? How do we Oh have, boy, here we go. How do you feel about that? Because I was listening to that today. And? Maybe I don't uh, want to get into this. <laughs> Look, man, like, you know, I am not really into uh thrashing other bands in an uh, somewhat public <laughs> forum, but that, that I suck. Oh, okay, God. All right, all right, all right. And, and I actually was very open-minded to it when it first came yeah. out, and uh, I, that is how I, I left uh, the experience of listening to it today. I'm just, uh, I need to turn this off. The funny... <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, but uh, do love so much so much else that that band has done, and, I, and I oh, am, I'm always hopeful for the next one, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, they had to try we, it. They had to yeah. try it. Yeah. Exactly, and it's it is a, it is a fun album. You know, it's just like I don't. It gets bogged down somewhere. Okay, so it's too long. We struck we struck out at disagreeing. On That's that. fine. I was hoping that we would be on other si- different sides of the fence. There, <laughs> yeah, throw out another <laughs> one, Tony. Oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, the the camera eye by Rush. Oh, oh yeah, that is okay. uh, that is a well documented song that I freaking hate. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there's that keyboard part. Come on, guys! Of course you do. <laughs> See? I knew I could uh, find guys, something. The guys in the band like they 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 kill me for that one. Like every time it gets brought up, I'm the only one that doesn't like it. Yeah, that, no, that's good. It's not my favorite song on that record, but there's there's one like really um, sort of cheesy song on that that record that I love. What's the next the the um, yeah. Vital signs. The next time. Yeah, maybe it's vital signs. It's got to be. It's good. the one yeah, that goes all reggae. Electronic drums. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Love that. Love it. 
Well, I, I had to bring up Camera Eye because I post that a lot of times on, on the Facebook page just for Tony. Uh, <laughs> because I know he loves it so much. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right. Disagree. Th that's fine. That'll work. So now, how? Uh, the other thing I want to say, is since you guys do share a lot, is there a chance on this tour that you guys are gonna gonna get on stage and jam together? Um, I'll I say we have we have nothing planned, but uh, I love that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure at some point one of us is gonna be up there while the other one is, uh, you know, playing. And I, I I don't know for sure. Like you know, we haven't discussed it, but mm -hmm. I, it wouldn't. Like, we wanted to do it with King Crow back in the day, but we, we were going to do it for the last show, and it got canceled. And, yep. Uh, we tried to get up there with it's Maximus, and, um, you know, Ray, uh, he almost got on stage with us there at Fates Morning for so, but to me, that is, I got to make this happen, so James, look out. Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. I mean, you're welcome anytime, for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. We got to get planning or not planning. It can be it can be spontaneous. I mean, you you know Tony Tony drummer Tony in Eden song is yeah. on stage at some point. I know you, he be, is. you better He's hope crazy. it's not naked. It generally <laughs> is. Tony Tony's a good guy. Tony's in. Uh, he's he's a, been a big supporter uh, of the group as well. Um, he's he's in the actual the, the 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 private group we have, and he's he's always pushing the Eden song on everybody which he oh, should yeah. which he should but that's well, what that's what drummers do drummers are the you know they they that's what their job is to kind of sell everything so yeah no tony is the promotional heart and soul of this band for sure <laughs> uh, he is he is out there uh pounding the pavement mm -hmm. so that is that is good mm -hmm. that's what i like to hear exactly now what are the what are the dates you've got six dates so far is is that the the full the full Slate? Um, yes. So Eden Song is actually starting at um, the Terra Incognita Festival in Quebec. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, but um, so that's on the twentieth, and then we meet up uh, with him in Sonic Destruction on the twenty second in Toronto. Um, am I right, Tony? Do you have them in that front is, of you? I, okay. That is, yeah, that's right. There's twenty second in Toronto. We tried really hard to get a Montreal date for that twenty first. It just. Uh, just wasn't going to happen. There's this big, yeah. big festival taking place there, and no. uh, just about all the venues that would have hosted us were busy. It's like a punk rock festival yeah, and or like, something. Yeah, multiple promoters tried. It was yeah, it was it was sad. I wish it well. Hopefully, hopefully a future. Uh, I want to do like an East Coast thing at some point, and that would be part of that. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. That would be cool. Okay, absolutely. But it wasn't meant to be. But yeah, so uh, after Toronto, we go uh, to St. Louis. Um, so yeah. Toronto on the 22nd, St. Louis on the 24th, Chicago on the 25th, um, Detroit on the 26th, Erie, Pennsylvania on the 27th, and New York on the 28th. Did mm -hmm. I miss something? I think that's it. No, you nailed it. That was by memory, too. That's pretty good. That was pretty good there, guy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And you got, and obviously you're, you have a local support at each one? Yeah, um, and some of these are bands we've had long-standing relationships with, and who are, awesome. um, you know, just like awesome, awesome groups uh, like District Ninety Seven and Chicago. That's, That's been great, fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Half Past Four. I mentioned them before mm -hmm. um, in Toronto. You know, something completely different and and fantastic. We played them with them in uh, New York. They they haven't been back in a while. Um, because of uh, you know issues of traveling across the border, which is annoying. Uh. Um, but um, but we're, we're we're going to them this time, so that's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, we got uh, next to none in New York City. Oh, we good. That right? It, yeah. We did, oh, yeah. We did this now. Okay. Sweet. Um, which is going to be awesome. Um, uh, yeah, another band on the bill in New York called Dead Wake, uh, who's um, who's great with those guys um so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be great to reconnect with a lot of these musicians along the way um so kind of kind of the bonus of uh booking this tour ourselves which of course you know any any band's gonna want a booking agent but in the meantime if you can book it yourself you, you should and we did and uh one of the benefits of that is is you know we we get to connect with some friends of ours you know in in, the, in each of these cities Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm 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 I got us uh, that Erie, Pennsylvania date. 
mm-hmm. with, uh, with our good friend Frank Furco and the band Revelation. So, you know, it, it's been, uh, it's been a, I guess, a neat exercise in, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, just meeting up with old friends. Yeah. It, it's, trying to make this thing happen. Been networking. It's, uh, it's awesome. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. Is that that Erie show? Yeah, that, that'll be cool too. Like I, I certainly don't know, um, didn't know any bands in Erie, so that'll mm. be great to uh, to meet some. It's a very organic way of doing things, and that that's that's really what Prague's all about, anyway. So it's it's much more personal. It's a family kind of affair too. So that's really cool. Yeah, and that's sort of how we, you know, that's how we treat um, promoting these shows too. Um, you know, we, we're in each of these places where we're playing. We're reaching out to, you know. Um, friends and and fans of the genre in the area, um, and it, yeah, it is it is very organic, very cool. Um, and we're trying to build that sense of community. Very cool. Now, how long are you guys each playing? Is it an hour and a half, two hours, three hours? You're you're going to be playing all night. What are you doing? Five hours. <laughs> um, I think it, it's probably going to range from what our longest set's probably like an hour. Mm-hmm. I'd say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing about 55 minutes mm-hmm. most nights. Okay. Ourselves. Um, yeah, and I think our set will be around that as well. i got to figure out, because we're, we're prepping a whole bunch, because we're doing these um, festival gigs coming up. So for that, we're doing like 90 minutes, uh, wow. 90 minutes which is, uh, I think that's on the upper end of what we've that's ever a done. a long time. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a long time. Sure. Playing intense that music. Is. But, yep. um but yeah, so we're, we've got to figure out uh, the best way to pare that down into like the the club friendly set. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, so uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we might get to four. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, cool. We'll figure it out. Awesome. But yeah, about an hour, I think. No, well, that's great. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great show. Um, hopefully, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch one of them but maybe new york city we'll see um yeah. hopefully people need to get out there and support you guys at these all these shows because uh, it's going to be an exciting night i mean that's great i'm really happy for you guys um i think it's it's awesome for the prog community and um it's awesome for good bands and and for the fans so chance for for fans of each band to, to find uh, hopefully something else that they like too yeah, no, I think yeah. all of these nights are going to be solid. Um, so I'm definitely psyched. I know the rest of the guys in the band are psyched. So good deal. Well, thank I you guys. Just want to get on the freaking road and get at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that figure. Tony just wants to get on the road and just be on the road. That's about it. Yeah, right? let's get on the road right now. Do I'm it. Leaving. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, thank you again for talking to me. Progressive Music Planet. Cool. Thanks. Thank guys. Bye.